Hello, it's Istvan, drawing again with Inkscape. We moved flat, finally, with my wife, and we moved into an area of Budapest which is very green, full of trees and animals and squirrels, birds and beetles. Just last week I took this photo with my phone, I mean, it's amazing how stag beetles are looking and they are not tiny. So this one was like the size of my index finger, a huge male with huge mandibles. And I took this photo and I, it just reminded me it was, I don't know, several months since I drew some elves, forest creatures. And I love this tiny world of, uh, you know, imaginary people. So I was looking around, looking at some pictures. I'm talking about all the time, you know, how important it is to sketch and cre and uh, research your drawings. I didn't make sketches this time, but I have more or less in my mind what I want. I was looking at pictures about saddles on horses and elephants and other creatures, mostly elephants, because that's interesting. So I will attend to draw now a little warrior on the back of this beetle. Again, I'm using Inkscape as always, get it on Inkscape.org and now I'm just using the Bezier tool, the pen tool and roughly draw the chair here. If this is the back of the animal, I just have to decide how big will be my rider. I left some good amount of space around the creature. So, just roughly drawing the chair turn of the snap and how I work with these type of images I'm always getting the colors from the image so I'm just using the I'm just using the color picker tool, hold the color picker a bit and I'm just getting the colors from here. So this is the chair on the top of the animal. I squeeze it a bit just to define how is the pain on the back of the creature. So if I say what is horizontal because obviously if this is the horizontal and he was walking on the top of this fence if this bar, flat top of the bar is horizontal then obviously the back of the creature is not he is tilted compared to that uh, compared to that uh, surface so how is this one coming towards that Okay, this is the chair. Cool. Maybe it can be a bit shorter here. So rather be um, than a chair more looking like a saddle. I add the node here just to have some fun with the shape. okay good so if this is it it works maybe this one even closer as well the whole thing a bit shorter oh good now that's what I mean That's it, more like a saddle. Now if this is there, this has to be a bit longer. You see it's already turning, if the, the back is a bit shorter, it's already turning the chair a bit. So that's it. The chair is defining everything else, where I put my creature, how my warrior will look. If this is the chair, I will definitely put some lines under the legs so I want some circle here that will be 
I'm also was looking pictures about camels and how the caravans were fixing. I just made a circle. So how the caravans were fixing the cargo on the camels. I just made two circles. So I'm just selecting these two circles and I go to path difference or control minus and this way I'm having a circle like a one piece of chain. What I do is I want one rope going under this leg can even bend it a bit and I want one rope going behind this leg as you see I am finishing the rope here so it is going under the creature also with the chair later on I will fix which parts are visible and which are not it is already looking nice and this one I want another one going around here I'm just control clicking the nodes now deleting the ones I don't need good so it's looking like this obviously I will change the colors later on to match the image more and here I will do the same add some strings I'm adding some leaping over strings so like the ropes are randomly around and here on the end of the chair and on the back of the chair I will add some rope holders let's say like this we'll keep the ropes blue for a moment and then later on recolor them if it needed so that's it this will be behind with page down I put it behind the circle this will be a piece of rope like or it's more like tapes or ribbons okay same goes here I change the basic of the chair double click twice so I have this little thing here this little piece to fix the rope to and we just uh, just with the adjustments for the rope I think this goes the other way around good and here as well so it looks nice and it's fixed on the creature save always save control s so this is it I will make it semi transparent now and I maybe want to move this a bit 
So I make everything semi-transparent, just group them up and I make them. So this one as well with control plus I worked it together. I select these few elements and I group it up with control G and I make them semi-transparent. So I see how the bug is looking under it. Okay, not big surprise here. This will be the covering. Good. So this will be... I duplicated and put one piece of it into the back of the image and this one I use to cut this part off. Perfect. Okay, like this it's even better. So the chair is sitting on the back of the creature now and I will change the shape of this so it's sitting even more. And here as well. Like this. And I like these little legs. So I add one more here on the top of the chair. So now I have this little chair, like a throne really, sitting in. I want to put in some blankets so it is not rolling on the creature. And it can be different colors. I'm just having some fun with the blankets. I see they use it for camels and elephants and uh, because they are protecting the skin of the animal. And I'm think I was thinking, does do I need it for a beetle? I mean, it's literally armored in, in the outside. Stack beetles, definitely so. They are strong and with very thick armor. And I was thinking, yeah, why not? It is giving to the feeling that uh, the creature is... that the creature is really carrying someone. It is giving to this caravan style feeling. I duplicate the blanket, give it another darker, dirtier color. With page down I put it under the original. And this will give some thickness to the blanket. I'm deleting this node on the end. Same here, I'm deleting this node, so I'm curving the edge of the square a bit. And here I am fixing this part. Good, it has some nice thickness. I do the same here on the back. I'm just double clicking and adding nodes. That's super easy. See it looks already like a blanket or something dark. 
Okay, I will figure out the shadows and everything later on. Now I went too much into detail. What was most interesting now for me, like how is the saddle on the creature? What I want to ask is actually the rider. This uh, chair has to have a thickness. So this is the thickness of the chair. Duplicating it, selecting both control star to cutting it into shape. And let's say this is the thickness of the chair. Like this is where the guy actually is sitting. Now if he's sitting like this, I have to decide how big I want him to be. So I always start with roughly shaping the creature. So if this is the head, here is the body, I do the other way around because I already created the chair. So I have to put the figure inside the chair. So if this is the body, then here is the leg. Let's say this is the leg. This leg is disappearing on the other side. And here is the upper body. Let's say this is the body. With control 5, I'm going to the wireframe U. I select these both shapes and I go to path intersection. First I duplicate this. Path intersection or control star. If I go back I have this shape. So now you see the thickness of the throne it has this shape but it also has this one which is in front of the leg. Now what I am trying to figure out is how this leg is going and how the other one is going because if it's coming this way, let's say if here are the knees and it would go down here, good. And then where are the knees here? Because I just roughly drew the keycher and how he is sitting and where are his knees, it's so important. I will give him thin legs but big feet. I uh, he's sitting like on a chopper bike. So maybe even he can grab these antlers, I will see. Would be nice. Okay. If this is the body and this is the chair, maybe he can relax and go back. Yeah. I need something here, another rope or or is it another stripe to hold his leg I will pick the same blue so I know it is something like this I am not a horse rider myself so sorry if I don't know the way how they call the different parts of the equipment of riding a horse. I rode a horse like twice in my life <laughs> once last year and once when I was four so I'm not really qualified to talk about horse riding okay and this part has to be behind the leg so when I finish the boots this will be behind the leg or I can cut it up into two 
select it. I draw an object which should cut it, and I go to uh, um, division. And with division, I send it down. So there is the first part and the back part, you see. So that's like holding the leg. It is fi fixing the cargo here. This one I will rotate because it looks like it's going somewhere, but it's just hanging. Good. Okay, we are all settled up. This is the head of my little creature, the rider himself. I want him cartoonish with a big head. And he needs some shoulders and arms. So if these are the hands. Oh Jesus, under the video guys, you can educate me how to call these things in English. I want to duplicate the arm. So he has a four and the back arm. I'm coloring it a bit darker so that goes to the back. And that is holding the string which is ruling this creature, which is driving this creature. Steering, yeah, like a steering rope. I have no clue how it is called in English. So, okay, if there is a thing for steering, you see he's turning his head. If I want to draw like it's intentional, I could make like this arm is moving out a bit. So I can put the center of rotation here. If you move the center of rotation, it can move. So he's pulling this with one hand and this with the other hand. And he's saying like, hey, 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 stop for a moment. Or this one can be even stretched. Good. I will put some pieces of metal here. I want to make it look with uh, like a big metallic uh, ring. It will consist of two sides. Constantly I'm push, pushing Control S. You should get used to that too. So I'm constantly saving what am I doing. And again I go to Path, Division, or I can go to... I duplicate, select those, and I go to Path, Intersection. This way I have this part, which is the lower part, and this part, which is the higher part. See, it's two things, but it's creating a kind of a look that it's a metal thingy here as well. So this is like a piece of metal, like a metal uh, ring, and it will... hold another little ring. I can actually duplicate this one. I don't need a new one. Control C, Control V, 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 fine, here. I am creating this string now. 
Okay, give me a second, I look it up. Okay, I think it is called the rain. I hope I pronounce it correctly. This thing is exactly going around. It's supposed to be like a circular thing. So if it is here, it is in the hand and it is here following up. And this is wavy and this will give some action to my drawing. Maybe too much of an action. I'm just control clicking the nodes again. So as you see, this is the fastest way and to draw in Inkscape. I'm just control clicking to create waves and curves from edges. So I draw with edges and then I just control click them. Good. So this is it, again, nice, nice, nice. This arm I pull up more. Because I like it. And this way I can lift this a bit more. So every part of my drawing is visible so this is ca not covering up this elaborate knot ring I made and it's good this is the movement is good and dynamic and this also the leg I can pull this even more up so he's having like an uncomfortable moment of driving the beast and this leg is also semi visible so I can rotate the whole thing to make it even more visible good and I can select the leg select it put the center of rotation somewhere up here and rotate it likewise and rotate it down too much something like this good now the only thing I have to do is to work on this one I mean I still have to draw the creature and do a lot of things but this saddle part has to go under so I will duplicate this and create the same I don't know horn ring or whatever it is this will be under here good and this one has to go in here so all these wavy parts actually will not be visible because if I put up the transparency again I see that it will be cut here at the head of the creature and it will be Jesus what is happening here with all the mandibles and antennas good so I cut it here Control Z because I cut it stupidly I also don't need this part so I cut off all the waves I created but now this thing is going behind the creature control minus give this one a 
full color and that's it and as well this this one is not needed or the whole thing will be this darker color and again with this one I want to make come on I want to make on the photo but this thing I want to make it transparent and see what is visible not much not much because both of the antlers are crossing here so this and this is going here I'm basically cutting off this first antler or mandible or let's call it antler but yeah it's actually mandible so I'm cutting it off from the thing from the ring good So this is what we have so far. I'm quite satisfied. I want to also rotate this arm a bit. Center of rotation goes around here. Maybe I can make it a bit closer oh now that's an issue in Inkscape sometimes it's falling apart and then I just take these strings like both of them and put it here okay it is a bit lazy but what I did I'm just cutting out this corner So again I'm working on a lower transparency and this is what I do and this is what I do when I want to draw something on an image. We have an Inkscape group on Facebook called Inkscape Draw Freely. If you didn't join that please join. We have a lot of fun with weekly challenges and so and I don't know last year there was a weekly challenge. Last summer I think uh, when I asked people to draw something like this drawing on an image it can be about anything I just ask them like draw take a photo and draw on it with Inkscape try to match colors try to match objects to the object what is already on the picture and this is what I do here exactly so I have this little beetle uh, and the little rider on it and I match the objects together so I'm matching these hanging things like one is behind one is up front and it's already looking good, it's already good looking 3D. If I remove the creature, this is what I have so far. Okay. I'm saving. And I'm drawing the head of the rider. Just fast, just having some fun. If this is the original head. Oh, he should look where he should look. He should look somewhere up. Yeah. As you see again, I'm just playing with this tool. And I'm control clicking to figure out the shape. Bit alien. Good. I 
I make a circle, shift control C to make it a path. Here is an ear. He is looking up here. Let's make the eyes. It's just a circle. I want him to wear a funny cap, a bit representing his occupation as a professional stag beetle rider. Gonna maybe look a bit like Aku. Let's get the color from here. It was really this color, it was looking amazing, this beetle. What if the eyes are smaller? No, I like it big. Do the same here with this one. I just control D, duplicate, select both of them. Good. I select every node here because I want to reposition the head a bit. It's too back on the on the neck. When this icon is clicked in, you can do the transformation. You can use the transformation handles the same way you are using for individual objects. So I can put it here, the transformational line, and I can play with the. Good. And I can play with the elements the same way. I'm playing with individual objects. Yeah, making it curvy, it's much more funny here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm liking it. Okay, good. This is the shoulder, this is the head. If this is the mouth, like he is shouting for the creature, then the chin has to be a bit longer maybe. So, not touching the image, everything has to go higher a bit. Make the face a bit longer. Like.
and then this one is not needed. Shift Ctrl C, I'm turning it into a kind of a cucumber shape and I'm making this size bigger, no, I'm just making this one bigger and this one smaller maybe. I created some funny eye shape so I can duplicate it and path intersection to have it like this mm, I'm not sure Maybe I keep it like this, just a bigger eye brown. Okay. And I give him a nice nose. With nice, I mean long. The bits looks like the Jetson family, but yeah, whatever. So that's it. It's very important that the eyes are not touching the size of the head. And I'm giving him some hair. Just a weird shape. I picked orange because why not? It will stand out from the background, it will have a lot of nice going for it. And I'm just clicking these nodes to make it curvy instead of edgy, as I always do. I fix the hat a bit. Add the back part of the hat. Like having the same thing as we had here. With the page down I put it behind the head. Good, maybe the nose can be a bit smaller. I still don't know how the mouth should be like. Is he sad? Is he not? What is the story from this guy? He's going well, he's going not well. Does he need a mouth like this at all? Or he maybe just needs something like this? He is super satisfied with his little ride.
people are always asking why you're drawing crooked teeth each one all the time. Okay, they don't always ask it, but some people asked it already. And first of all, it's cute. Second of all, it's making the drawing interesting. Third of all, I have some broken tooth as well, so on every drawing I am drawing myself. I'm having fun about myself. And as an artist, this is what we do, if I may call myself an artist in any way. So this is it. So this is what this is the original drawing and this is with the rider. Now he's wearing a pink onesie. I will fix that in a second and he will be free in a second. I fix these corners a bit. Good. This one I want a bit closer. This is looking like a piece of flame, but this is his hair. I'm just joking how he how it is moving. I'm just playing around how to make it more alive. Nice. So this is the beetle rider and Yeah, we are getting there. You just need to recolor, adjust here and there. It was like 40 minutes so far and it will be yeah, there is not much left. So. I'm just drawing the hand. Holding the ropes. Good. I make the hand a bit browner than the skin of the hand. This one will be another part of the rope. Like he's holding this rhine, rhine or what was the name? I will pick a color from here for now. Good. I don't need this arm anymore because I can draw my new one. And it is especially like this. It's going like this. Good. And I fix this arm a bit, or hand a bit towards. So I'm just matching these elements basically. Okay, that's good. And
okay everyone is going to the same direction I remove this node too good I do the same with the backhand actually it can stay like this very simple I only have to remove these nodes here to give him a hand holding the rein, rein. and here it is I'm just checking my hand how it looks like holding a spoon feeding a baby I think it's the same way you hold it like with the loose fist and the thumbs pointing forward good it goes in there it comes out here I'm okay with the body I will just make it more loose give him a bit of a belly this is how we sit like a bit relaxed the only thing is he is not sitting on this plane of the what I defined previously so I need him to sit down And of course this leg is going in but this will disappear here. Good. And I will cut the leg here to give him some boots. Go to path. Division again. So now I have the boots. And what I will make, I just make it bigger here. and not so pointy at the corner I like it is pointy just not so much I can add the node here even okay so I have a nice little boot can be the same color as his helmet trouser and dress let's pick some color to green to green to gray some green here uh, to gray matching the thingy the bug okay it could be looking good the trick is to match what the object is there and the other trick is to not lose what you draw in the background like for example if this hat would be this color would you would you see it no this color maybe this color okay stands out but the original red color or dark red that's what is working for me that's standing out of the background wow what else is there it is fixed I have to figure out the color for the ropes and I as you see this is how I draw I am solving one issue after the other and I'm taking rests so I am keep on drawing but now I'm focusing a bit on the ropes and then I'm going back to the character itself so if these are blue I can make them red as well how does it look wow actually looks cool but to make them more part of the show I make them dark red and give them some gradient with this dark red so this is it very dark red same with this one I can merge these ones together I give it a gradient and I pick the same gradient from here so I don't have to do anything with the color it's already picked good I want these shiny so what I do is I draw another object over it and I say like this will be shiny here 
This is how I also add shine to hair and stuff. I duplicate it, merge it together, the original ones, and I go to path, difference, uh, intersection. And that's it. And I can make it even a bit more bright. I like these colors because these are the same color in the helmet and on the boots he has. Here as well I want to make this one maybe a different color, a different type of thing or give it the same gradient. Good. Not towards the edge but bottom up. And this is shiny here on the top. Here is my shine color. And I will use the same colors everywhere. So this is the boot. I duplicate it. And I create a shiny part. Or at first I create a sole of the boot. And then I add some shines. I duplicated the booth, boots and this will be the dark part. Page down, okay. No, it's good. group this up okay so it's above nice one more thing here is that I need to add something to hold this thing It is like the rope also put over this thing. Okay, and here I fix this a bit. So the dark part is under the leg. Wow, nice. Getting be getting better. Fix the dress. Let's fix the back because this is nice, but it's nothing what I want. Okay, the neck is fixed, the leg is can come up more. And this can disappear behind. Good. The 
only thing I need to cut is the body so I have him different pullover color and a different trousers color the same way path division I divided it and if the trousers are black I want them things or the pullover can be black and the trousers can be a different color it can be a dark green this way <laughs> or light green that's also good for me okay that works no it's better to have this dark brown color here good so that's one thing okay and uh, the only thing not fixed is this gray one because that's not looking very well and it has to be like three color I think so let's make it three looking okay this one on the inside is a darker one of the same shade this is how I make cartoon wood surface I make some whatever rusty looking lines I want then with control L I ease them up a bit I draw some more okay I put them into one shape so this is what I have now just a few loose lines I add one more here or two put them together with ctrl plus ctrl L and ctrl plus again so this is what I have this will be the dark color in my chair I duplicate it and move it aside a bit I put it under and make it brighter a bit so it has a bit of an edge and now I just duplicate the chair once and control star so control asterisk or however you call it asterisk yeah and that's the other so this is it I have the chair I group it up and I put it behind the ropes but in front of the leg good maybe I color this a bit more
good something like this this is the dark color of the chair this is the bright color of the chair and I fix these strings as well here as well and I can make these strings a bit brighter here on the top so let's pick another gradient pick the bright color here good and the uh, same what was this one 1032 this will be 1032 as well and I just need to add the color to these strings which will be the bright color again or going into like this this one can be the dark part of this here as well and this one can be dark part as well as this is behind even darker good okay we are getting there um, almost done I'm just fixing this little carpet thing just do orange it can be like yeah something like this then obviously give it a gradient so it is under the chair it has a different color than over the chair I mean where the shadow of the chair is on it as well as these legs need some thickness so I am doing this If this is like that, then this can be, this is disconnected a bit. Okay, like this. Oh, even more so. like it is fixed on the edge of the chair
Okay. Tiny details, tiny details everywhere. I could add 100 more. What I will add is a small thing, like the light is coming here, so it has some bright parts, has some dark parts, and I want some shadows on the character and on the head and on the yeah and the metallic parts. So what I do just very fast. This is the this will be the bright part. I duplicate the hat, control star, good. So there is some light there and I give it some bright colors. Same goes here. Duplicate this. Good. And here as well. I think I don't need this because that's different. I duplicate it, pull it inner a bit, and this one will be the bright edge. Yep. And I will play the same game here. I duplicate it, create this shape, and duplicate again the old one, and I cut it off if needed, and it is needed. Color it to a different color just to see what am I doing. Control minus pa. I'm using this a lot of time so I don't have to reconstruct an edge. I can use this myself. I can do I can use what I created before so it will be very similar to what I created before. So that's it. If the creature, the little guy, has some bright spot on his head, I'm just shaping it so the hair is behind, the nose is making a nice shadow. Let's see how it looks. I duplicate the original. Looks bad, but it's okay.
You see, I'm experimenting a lot. I'm not perfect and I'm not getting everything at the first try either. So, I'm not perfect. That's for sure. This is just a gradient from the same colors. And it is already looking like it has a shadow or he has a shadow. So yeah, it has some bright spots, light spots, darker hand, lighter hand I can play with, but I'm not gonna. I can give some little It's like a little metallic shine I gave and I can give as well merge these two together duplicate this control star and select a bit darker color like it is shining around maybe I don't need this I duplicated these match them up Maybe I don't need this, maybe I just need a brighter one here. Good. I just figured I need a little string here. Okay, and this is my little rider. I can add many many more elements if I want and I will, I will play with this a bit like little strings on this carpet or I can put a lamp here I'm thinking so maybe a bit smaller a bit smaller rope good and I take this and I can have a little lantern here just drawing a shape I duplicate it good and I make a little window on it so this is a lamp oh 
obviously it is not a nice nice uh, not a night scene so I'm not gonna draw light coming out of this it's just a little lamp it's looking a bit like a TARDIS still nice so this is the lamp one side can be a bit brighter a bit I group it up So that can be a little lantern there. I'm really thinking if these lines on the chair are adding to it or not. What do you think? If I delete this, maybe it's much better, maybe not. Maybe the whole chair is too bright. So this is what I have, the lantern can be a bit bigger and this can be like a semi-transparent thing. Okay, like this is the lantern. Um, I hope you like this drawing as much as I did. I really enjoy it and I know I will add some elements later on. I simply cannot stop so that was it for now i will include i will draw a bit more and include the finished drawings obviously in the video i am just figuring out what colors to use and i'm running out of time now so this is it yeah maybe this purple is good my name is Istvan Sip. If you know me good, if not, look me up. I am teaching on Udemy. I'm teaching you how to draw like me. So how to create characters and things like this. And I just came out with a new course about game design. <laughs> this purple pink is good. I just came out with a new course about game design again. And it is about logo design for games this time so I am into logo design as well as much as I am on illustration I think logo design is one of my biggest love and in my latest course I am teaching people how to achieve the effects I am doing with my logos especially for video games so if you are interested look the course up because it can tell you some interesting things about logo design in general and logo design for video games I will never ever figure out the colors of this pullover, but I am getting there. No. I was almost there for a second. Okay, let's keep it this way. Wow. So let's stop here. This is the final image. I will add some other things. Okay, one more thing. I have to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I want to put here like a sack of things. Like, you know, he's also having some cargo himself. It's obviously... 
put together with a string and it's behind the whole stuff it's on the back of the was it of the bug the stack beetle and I duplicate it not even if this is this color I want another shape over it being a darker one So I'm just picking this color, making it darker again, and that's the color of the bag. That's some bag, that's the lamp. I don't know if I want to give him like weapons or stuff, but I can put some strings and stuff here and there as well if you like beetles and animals like I do please take it it's not a humiliation of the animal I took this photo out of love I didn't harm the animal I just had my fun drawing on the creature and not you know hurting the actual animal I'm just a designer drawing stuff on this okay so this was it today I just cannot stop <laughs> so this was it today uh, see you in the next video and if you have any questions please ask under the video if you have uh, anything I forgot to tell if you know the name of the different elements I drew from horse riding please let me know because I want to learn and that's it keep on drawing have fun and call me if you have any questions